guys, Darius here, and uh, welcome to a new tutorial. And uh, I was just playing around in Photoshop earlier, and um, I came across an effect, you know, that was pretty easy to make and gave some nice uh, outcomes. And uh, this is mostly for album art, like if you want to uh, make something for a client uh, really quickly, um, like, I don't know, I think this works best for... EDM, you know, electronic dance music albums and stuff like that, or images. So you, if you need a quick image, uh, then uh, this effect is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty hasty, and it looks cool, I think. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're gonna get everything you need to apply this effect. So how does this work? Um, it's in a PSD I made, right? So if I open it, you're just gonna get this uh, panel here. Let me just remove the ruler, don't need that. And initially you're probably gonna get scared at all these layers here because uh, oh my god, what am I gonna do? So uh, it's really easy. The first thing you need to do is import an image. I'm gonna use uh, animals, you know, got some stock of some animals. And uh, I really like to use these, you know. So uh, for example, let's take this, you know, we could take this one here or uh, the lion. I already used this, as you know. There's a cat, a funny looking horse, not gonna use that one. Um, I mean, let, let's use this cat here. So what you do is just import it into Photoshop, you know, and uh, now you grab your lasso tool and select the general area of uh, what you want in your image. So like, I'm just gonna loosely select this cat here and what I'm going to keep from the cat, you know, like what area is going to be uh, sort of solid, you know, and the rest. Now simply just uh, click on this uh, apply mask thingy and you're going to just see the head of the cat, double click on the mask and then mask the edge. And uh, you're going to have to use these settings that I'm using, but the feather, here, here, the feather, you got to adjust it to your image because if I put the feather down here as you can see we're, we're seeing more of the cat so if my image was instead of a 6,000 pixel or something as it is now if it was 1,000 you would have to put the feather down to about 50 or something you know so uh, just make it fade a lot not but but still keeping some solid area you know let me see what I can get here okay this seems about right and um, just click OK and wait for Photoshop to process this thing and just gonna wait a second okay so now we got our cat head here now just uh, press ctrl a on the keyboard to select everything and then ctrl and c to copy go back to your thing here and uh, you're gonna select your clip mask group here and click on the new layer button and press ctrl v to paste the cat head inside now drag the cat head under the clip files here. Right click the layer with the cat, convert to smart object. So now we can resize it without losing quality. So press Ctrl T on the keyboard, hold Alt and rotate the mouse wheel to zoom out. Hold Shift and proportionally resize this. So this is not finished. We still need to do one more thing. There we go. Well, actually more things. So kind of make it uh, big inside of your uh, album art. This uh, file is 1000 by 1000, typical um, size for album art. Now the next step is to hold control on your keyboard and select all these three clips, right? Now right click and create a clipping mask to the cat layer. And there you go, that's your effect. And this works with anything basically does it work with faces yes it does does it work with tigers with lions etc yes it does and it looks pretty cool for the eyes I have an eyes layer here it already applies a shadow to the eyes so all you need to do to apply the eyes is zoom in select the area with your lasso tool or pen tool however you wish and let me just select this one too that's a bit too much whoops let me go back just undo that. There we go. And now select your brush tool, select white, and brush inside 
with the opacity 100. There you go. Just click a bunch of times. Now control D to deselect. And look at that. That looks fantastic. Let's add some glow to the eyes. Select the glow layer. And here it says glow 10% brush opacity. So what you're going to do is select your brush tool and press 1. This is going to change the opacity here to 10%. And at first, you're going to click once or twice with white. Then you're going to hold Alt and sample the red color from the cat and click there once and one, two, you know. So we got the glow going on. If you want to change the color, um, there's a color change notch here, the layer here. Simply double click the icon and you're going to get the hue and saturation uh, dials here. So you can change the hue. You can make the cat green or yellow or whatever. Uh, make it even more saturated, but not too much, or else it's going to destroy it. So about 50, not more than 50, looks good. You can change the lightness. There's also a brightness and contrast layer, so double-click that, and you can change the contrast of the image, make it darker or brighter. You know, just play around with the settings. Lower the contrast, lower the brightness, you know, just like this. And the text, there's text uh, group here. You can just uh, change to whatever. Like, this is just filler. This is just filler text, not the best. You can change the color, you know, for the text. You can make it green. See, just like that. It's a really cool, speedy effect to add to your image. And the client will surely be satisfied. Uh, with the image because I mean it looks cool and uh, you can also add more textures, you know, like uh, the background You can add whatever you want so I can just you know make a new layer in the background here, you know on top of the background and uh, just uh, grab some color, you know and Just like brush, you know, and this is something else already, you know um, and Also, you can add uh, It just depends, you know how you want to make it how difficult you want to make it I can add this bark here for example, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> see, we got a texture and it's already something else. Just play around with it, have fun and be creative. Just add your stocks inside uh, in the background, for example, and make something else, make something new, make it your own. So just uh, go into the description and download the file, the PSD, save it to your computer and have fun. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.